Hello everyone, this is Tamer Radwan from TNP Group. Today we are going to discuss together some server uh, tricks before shooting and after shooting. All of us as photographers, before we go for shooting, we need to study some things, which is important. If you're going to shoot a landscape, so you should study first the side and how it's wide and all the elements around you. Let's talk about landscape and elements. If you're going to shoot a mountain, we need to choose the right time, golden time, which is sunset or sunrise because the effect of the sun when it comes to the mountain it has a, the color of golden which is warm and this is what we need exactly second we need to choose the clouds we don't need to go shoot the mountain with a bright sky we need to get some clouds clear clouds either for one shot or long exposure both we need clouds Third, in the photo, you need to choose the metering. How wide your lens, and if you insert another uh, element, which is uh, human, or animal, or just planet, or something like this, you need to know also the metering already, and the focus, how wide is it. If you're going for a portrait, um, either for indoor or outdoor, the most important for portrait is the lighting. Lighting is everything in your photo. If you shoot a model, and then you need to divide your lighting, right, left, circle, whatever the light, matching the dress, matching the background, so your photo will come exactly as you dream. If you're going to shoot for street photography, also, you need to consider there is elements in street photography, like movements of people, or cars, or bicycles. Those all are your dynamic life in your photo as photography in the street. If you're going to shoot the sea, the same of the landscape, you need also uh, clouds, clear sky, and you need to, to consider that is, uh, waves are moving at the same time also the sun. So that's will make your photo uh, impressive for anyone. And that will be amazed the normal people either also for photographers. Not that in all of this one, you need a tripod. Tripod is really important because without tripod, your hand is shaking, your camera is shaking, even the metal for the camera is shaking a while you are pressing. So if you have a tripod and it's heavy enough for your body and your lens, 100% your photo will come sharp and you will not suffer when you go home. Those are just some tricks for photography. Later on, I will do some uh, tutorials for you, for landscape, for portrait, for street photography, and then for events, for wedding. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening to me. Please share, subscribe, like, and check with your friends. If you need anything, just put it in the comment. Immediately, I will answer you with the correct answer. Not too much talk. Thank you so much for watching me again and be patient. Thank you. Goodbye.